Now, Queensland leaders from every corner of the state have met in Cairns Regional Parliament this week, the first time in 15 years, to address the spiralling crime rates taking over the streets of the far north. The meeting has prompted everyday citizens to descend on the steps to protest for their safety. They say crime is out of control. Joining me now is Queensland Opposition Leader David Chrisafuli, live in Cairns. David, great to see you. Look, We've seen these protests. Is this a matter of the public taking this into their own hands because the crime is so out of control? Shari, emotions are high and the uh, people of the far north are reflecting what I've heard as I've gone across Queensland, listening to everyday people. They're sick of it. They know that the laws were watered down eight years ago. And on the back of that change, when the state government first came to office here, you got a generation of repeat hardcore young offenders who know that their rights are greater than the rights of the victim. And I'm feeling that in all parts of the state. And every time that the state government stand up and says, we're on top of this and everything's working and it's all hunky-dory, it's ashes in the mouths of these people. I took the time to get out of the building and not be part of this, you know, homogenised, pre-cookie-cutter version of, of uh, life and politics. Mm. And I went and sat on the back deck of a local here in the far north and there was a couple of dozen people there who told me their stories. Small business owners have been broken into eight times in the last two months. A woman who was protecting her children while her husband got smashed over the head with multi-grips. This is a city under siege and it's a state under siege and the state government stopped listening after watering down the laws and they're not adopting our solutions to finally get on top of youth crime. Well, look at those solutions. You're the opposition leader. What do you think Anastasia Palaszczuk needs to do to stop this problem of, of in particular, youth crime? Number one, it starts with consequences for actions. We have got to rewrite the Youth Justice Act and put the rights of the victim ahead of the rights of the offender. Two, we've got to unshackle the judiciary, and that starts with removing this absolute nonsense in the Youth Justice Act that detention must always be a last resort. And three, we've got to get serious about gold standard early intervention. We've got to turn kids around before they're holding a knife at your front door, before they're ramming police cars. We right. don't know what works and what is in Queensland. We have to do better. Now, we've put forward solutions in the past. Uh, we got breach of bail adopted word for word, but there's less police in Queensland than two years ago. Unless you change the culture of the Youth Justice Act, unless there's more blue uniforms, unless you put the rights of the victim first, we're going to continue to see this carnage that's unfolding throughout the state. All right, David Christopher Lee, Queensland Opposition Leader, thank you very much for joining me.